Hi Taurus, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Tower, Major Arcana. We have the Ace of Cups. We saw that yesterday. And we have the Four of Swords. So the Tower, the Tower is pretty much what you see is what you get. People who are falling out of the tower, the lightning, the fire, the shockingness of it all, the disruption to your daily routine, a change, something unexpected. It's a real jolt. And sometimes the jolts, they may be smaller than other jolts that happen within our life, but nevertheless, it feels like a shock. It feels like something unexpected. So the tower, the tower allows for the foundation to crumble, that something is going to fall apart. And so you have to be uh, ready to cope with it and to deal with it. It's may not, it may not be pleasant. It may be very unpleasant. It may signal a big shift in how you do things day to day or your long-term vision. Uh, expectations may have been broken. You know, with the tower, it can be a clearing, a clearing within your life, within a particular segment of your life. Perhaps it's a relationship. Maybe it's something related to a friendship or a job that for whatever reason the universe is coming in and is going to strike it with lightning and symbolically um, disrupt and to create the the awe of this change so while we're in it it can be very upsetting it can be very uh, makes us feel unsteady but when we can get past the change, and it may take time, then we may find that things actually improve, and it was probably something meant to go, and that for whatever reason, it wasn't serving you. You know, sometimes the truth is revealed, and it can be a jolt, and it can be very revealing about someone, and you may be taken aback and you just have to find a way to move forward and to get past it. You either resolve it or you cut it out or you find the middle ground if that's possible. So here's the tower and then the tower is next to the ace of cups and the ace of cups in an upright position is a very happy, positive card of joy and delight and the possibilities for enriched and very deep emotional relationships. You could meet someone, you could fall in love, you could have an opportunity for a relationship, you could be enhancing a current relationship, making it more intimate, making it a more bonded union. So here's the emotions. Perhaps the emotions are really flowing for you as a result of this tower of whatever's caused the jolt has caused you to really let your emotions go in a good sense. Let them flow. Let them, you know, work their way out of your system. Perhaps on the other side of this, of this tower is the future for real love, for real connections, for meaningful and authentic relationships. You know, whatever it is here, this wasn't working and this, ha this situation has to go. 
This represents the hope that we can connect with others, that we can feel love for the things that we do, for our passions, for our careers, for our family. But this is tied to our emotional well-being. And so until sometimes you clear things that aren't meant to be within your life or that are keeping you um, from becoming your best self, it's hard to get on that emotional plane that you should be. So we have the, the Four of Swords here. And the Four of Swords is a timely card. It's a welcome card within this reading because... It, when situations are tough and when you have to process them and when you have to make sense of them, it's exhausting. It can be very challenging. It can be, um, you might even feel hopeless. This Four of Swords is telling you to pull back from the situation, to give yourself an opportunity to pray, to rest, to meditate, to treat yourself well perhaps get a massage, get body work done, something restorative. This is meant and designed for you to, to recover and to feel re-energized and to feel restored. So in order to get to that better place, you have to remove yourself either from chaos or situations that are, <clears throat> that are rough. So this is so important, making sure that you have rest. Your emotions, let your emotions flow. And then once you're able to get past that burst of it, then they can settle down and then you can focus on the relationships that you have that are important to you and that you're wanting to create, to maintain and to create. And you will be able to deal with this change, whatever this change may be. We often think that we can't handle it, that our world is going to end. And it's just not the case. We become stronger. We become more wise. We put it in our book of experiences and we remember that day when that happened and we look back and it's like, yeah, that was really tough, but look where I am now. So that's, I think, the mindset to work with when we see the tower. Ace of Cups is a beautiful card of love, depth, delight, and joy. And just because you have the tower happen within a life, lifetime doesn't mean that you give up hope for this. This is always available to you. So number wise, we have, uh, we have 16, 17, and four is 21. And that reduces to three. And three is about group activities. It's about creativity, communication, expressing yourself. And then finally, I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Warrior woman, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? Isn't that a great question? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? What adventures would you go on? What things would you change? How would you restructure your life? How would you transform your life? So friends, this is what I have for you on the first day of November. I hope that you have a great day. If you found this reading helpful, please subscribe like this video, share this video, comment below, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.